We've been debating the question, should magic mushrooms be legal? With psychopharmacologist Dr. Benjamin Malcolm and chemical dependency specialist Dr. Megan Markham. Now, I want to bring into the conversation Ryan Munavar, who regularly microdoses with the psychedelic mushrooms. And Ryan, I, I want you to just tell us a little bit about your experience, why you do that. You're also the director of Decriminalized California. Because the vast majority of people have not tried these, well, tell us why you do this and what the effect is. Well, I suffer from a form of a seasonal affected mood disorder. Basically, when the weather's outside, I would feel down. So if it was cloudy, miserable, rainy, I just don't really get enough light and there's a form of depression that develops because of that. And when you start taking psychedelic mushrooms, at least when I started, um, it was one of the most life-changing experiences I have ever had. It, changes your perception of how you view the world, but it also, after you've done it, it allows you to wake up with a sense of hope and almost a joy days after you've done this. So it's kind of like a reset for a lot of things that go wrong inside of the person's brain. And then as far as taking a macro dose, which is about three to five grams, that's the typical thing you would normally take if you're gonna have a good time, um, that takes you to a place where if you're in the right setting and it's the right environment and you have a good guide or a friend that's done it before that can actually shepherd you through the process, it changes you on a level where you can start to deal with things in your life that you've never had the opportunity or the skill set or the tools to do. This debate is interesting because we're, we're hearing from individuals who, Ryan, you have had a profoundly positive effect, but I do want to steer the conversation back to safety. Look. Not a lot of research has been done in a way that you could feel confident in how to use these. And, and there is a worry for me as an ER doc that if these are legal, there are safety concerns there. Don't we have to acknowledge that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, if you wanna talk about making drug use safer, we have to talk about prohibition and the war on drugs because that's been the reigning policy approach in the United States for the last 50 years. And we've wasted trillions in American of taxpayers' dollars. Our prisons are completely over flooding with nonviolent drug offenders. Uh, and the rates of drug abuse have not dropped. In fact, they've skyrocketed and we're seeing more drug overdose deaths from things like opiates and methamphetamine than we ever have before. So what can we do? What can we make uh, you know, something that could be potentially unsafe safer? Well, there's a, it's called a harm reduction model when we're uh, talking about policy. And places like the Netherlands or Amsterdam or Portugal have decriminalized or legalized psilocybin truffles or magic mushrooms. And what they have not seen is this massive rush in people that want to use them. They haven't seen massive upticks in ER visits or actual hospital admissions. And what they have seen is more objective education coming from the government, less misinformation, and it ultimately just makes drug use safer when people can access it through sanctioned and legal types of challenge. And, you know, I hear the argument that, well, what about the self-experimentation? And, you know, I'm sorry, but, you know, when a patient comes into my office and says, hey, I've been struggling with depression for a decade. I've taken half a dozen of the standard antidepressants. I'm begging you. I'm pleading you. I just don't know if I can go on like this anymore. Is there anything out there on the horizon that, that could be safe in a controlled environment or with medical supervision that could be of benefit to me. You know, I think as clinicians, we kind of need to understand that, of course, all drugs and all treatments have risks and benefits, and it's about weighing those risks and benefits and seeing that for our patients that are suffering, it's absolutely the right thing to do to make these drugs legal.